So this is question number nine from practice test one for the SAT. As we can see here, and I really want you to pay close attention, we have two equations here uh, with two unknowns. Um, this setup is very is fairly common on the SAT, and anytime we see that, I want you to think of the possibility of using elimination and or substitution. So I'll just say sub for substitution. So if you recall from school, elimination basically is a way in which you add the two equations together and eliminate an entire variable. Sometimes you may need to multiply one or both equations by a value or two in order for that to happen. Substitution is another method for solving in which you isolate a variable and then plug that into the other equation. So this question says, what is the solution x comma y to the system of equations above? So again, we can use elimination or substitution. I am going to decide to use substitution here because I have this x that's alone here. So if I take my 2y minus x equals negative 19, I can then add x to both sides just to make it positive. So there's definitely multiple ways to do this. I'm going to also add 19 to both sides here all in one step. So on this side, my 19 is gone, but on this side, my x is gone. So on the left-hand side, I end up with 2y plus 19 equals x. So now that I know that x is 2y plus 19, I take that entire quantity and I put it in or substitute the x from the other equation. So I end up with 3 parentheses 2y plus 19 plus 4y equals negative 23. So when we solve this out, I get 6y plus 57 plus 4y equals negative 23. And although I don't have a lot of space here, what you'll see is that 6y plus 4y is equal to 10y. And 57 is here, so I'm going to subtract 57 from both sides. Negative 23 minus 57 is negative 80. So I end up with 10y equals negative 80. Um, so I divide both sides by 10, I get y equals negative 8. And as you can see, the only option that has y equally negative 8 is option B, which makes B the correct answer. So I want you to realize also that I, you know, I could have also tried elimination. One way to try that is, again, if I was trying to get x eliminated, I can multiply the entire second equation by 3. So everything gets multiplied by 3. And again, that would make this a 6y, which would add with this 4y, making it 10y. That would make this 3x here cross out with the negative 3x that I would get there by multiplying by 3. And here, the negative 19, since I'm multiplying by 3, would end up being a negative 57, which, again, when I add those together, would give me my negative 80. And basically lead to the exact same place where I was here, the 10y equals negative 80. Um, also, there is another option here that I want to point your attention to, and that is the fact that all of these answer choices are x comma y values, which means we can plug them in to see which, um, which work, right? So that means I can plug in x equals negative 5 and y equals negative 2 into both equations, and if that works, then that will make that answer choice a good one. So we would see that b should be the only one that works here, where if I plug in 3 for x, and negative 8 for y. So let's just try that for the first one. I'd have 3 times 3 plus 4 times negative 8, and that needs to equal negative 23. And let's see that does, I believe. So we have 9, and then minus 32 does equal negative 23, so that checks out. And then for the second or bottom equation, I would have 2 times my y, in this case, which is negative 8, minus my x, which is in, the, in this case is 3, should equal negative 19. 
And again, two times negative eight is negative 16 minus three does in fact equal negative 19. So that checks out for, for letter choice B for the answer. So as you can tell, there were three options here, either elimination or substitution, which is what I chose, or PIA, which stands for plug-in answers.